Hi, I'm Robbie Robinson, and I'm a scientist here at EMSL. One of the things I've been working on are better ways to analyze intact proteins using mass spectrometry. Now, I'm going to be presenting some of this work at ASMS. The work I present there is demonstrating how we've developed ways to integrate both top-down and bottom-up proteomics. The reason we integrate top-down and bottom-up proteomics is to take advantage of the strengths of each of these methods. For example, the strength of top-down proteomics is that you see so much of the complexity of the biological systems. You see all the different proteins and the post-translational modifications that are naturally part of these biological systems. We use bottom-up proteomics to make identifications of what these proteins are that we see in the top-down proteomics. We use several different al uh, analytical platforms that we have available here at EMSL. The key feature of doing top-down proteomics is to use our high-field ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometers. These instruments have the resolution and the mass measurement accuracy that's required to analyze samples of this kind of complexity. And the other technology that we've been able to take advantage of is our uh, HPLC platforms, where we're able to resolve and separate out the components in these complex mixtures. So these studies are using this top-down, bottom-up, integrated proteomics method is going to improve our fundamental understandings of biological systems and also understand how different post-translational modifications play a role in the different regulatory pathways in these biological systems. So this not only improves our fundamental understanding, but also helps us find new ways to apply this understanding to help find cures for diseases, to help improve uh, biological mediation methods and also to work on improving some of these uh, biological sources as potential energy or potential energy applications.